Hello ladies and gentlemen, and how are we? Today I'll be doing an unboxing for Battletech, the beginner's box that is made by Catalyst Game Labs and Tops Company. So guys, this is actually the second beginner's box that they've actually brought out for the Battletech in the last eight years, I think. I'm trying to remember when the other one came out. I know it's before the pandemic, but I can't remember how long before the pandemic. I've done a video on that, so that one will be at the end of this video. Um, if you want to go check that one out. So, before we begin, let's take a look at the uh, front art here. Now, let's just zoom in a little. Far away. Let's just zoom in a little. Okay, so you've got a Vindicator on, on the front, and that's one of the new things in this set. You've also got these planes. I don't know what these um, jets slash fighters are, or bombers, are flying over there. I do find it very cool that you've got these sort of infantry down below here on the front art. But one of the other things I really like, I don't know if you can see on his legs, on their Vindicator's legs, is like the vines as it's sort of going. And like this sort of very alien world sort of behind. I think that's really cool, if I'm being honest. So, yep, yeah, that's the PPC firing, I believe. So let's uh, turn this, oh, that was uh, five LRMs. I can't remember if that's a light laser or a medium laser up there, but I know there's a small laser. No, that's that. That's the... No, I'm not sure. I can't remember offhand. Anyway, so let's turn it over. And let's have a look at the back of the box. It's not a very thick box. You can tell my hands aren't the biggest in the world. And so you can tell this isn't a, a very big, fat sort of box. But at the same time, it is the uh, beginner set. So you don't get as much in this as you do the other armoured core set. Or even what's coming out soon, the uh, Alpha Strike box, which is another one I'm hoping to do at some point. Let's zoom in. Let's try and move this over here. Okay, so let's read this, guys. The comm line abuzz with pre-battle orders. The pounding rhythm of the metal titan on the prowl. The shifting glow of your battle mech's controls spread before you, and then abruptly a tone lock of an in incoming fire wall in your cockpit as missiles, auto cannon shells and lasers fall like Thor's hammer against your armor. Seizing your mech controls, you draw your weapons in line and unleash a hellish response. I kind of like that, that's kind of cool. Okay, so let's just sort of like, again, zoom in just a little. So the two mechs, you'll get, I'm gonna bring them out in a second, but the two mechs you do get in this set are the uh, Vindicator, which is the new one, instead of a Wolverine, which was in the original set, and the uh, Griffin, so now I have two Griffins. Okay, so, but you also get some other stuff inside it, but again, let's uh, show you what it says it has inside. The content is here, two, uh, two high quality, fully assembled, two quality fully assembled, unpainted miniatures, 18 by 22, full colour game map, both sides. Die cut mech and terrain tokens, okay. Quick start rules, universal booklet, a 24 fiction novel, uh, record sheets, mech warrior cards, record sheet. Oh yeah, I know what they, that's them ones they're talking about. Uh, and six sided dice. I was hoping it was the normal record sheets that you got in the uh, core box. Um, Okay, so let's open this this up for a minute, guys. Let's take a look on the inside. Okay, so there's your novel, The Golden Rule. That looks like a commando there to me. Um, let's have a quick look. So, so many pages it actually is. Well, you've got a couple of things on the back there. That's just a like talks about the different weapons then you also get yourself some recording sheets now these aren't this is just for the beginners rules guys because you don't have the structure you don't seem to have how many times you shoot with certain weapons oh you see those shots there so let's just get this first one out and let's uh, talk about it just a little so here is the uh, mech data so this one would only walk uh, its walking speed is 8 its running speed is 12 its tonnage is only 20, it's a cost as a light mech, it's based in the inner sphere. 
You also have what would be the uh, gunnery skill. Now, if you were playing the normal rules, you would have pilot skill as well. And if you had a Klanger me um, mech warrior, he would actually have a three instead of a four for gunnery. There is your hit location, so different roles for where you would hit with a two-sided dice. And then you would work out hit on this side where you've been hit. So these are also the weapons, which is the uh, medium laser and two machine guns. It would be in the centre torso, right arm and left arm. It has 200 shots. That's the first variant. So you turn over to the other side, it gives you a nice little description about the Locust. Sort of like what top speeds and stuff like that. And then you go to this one. Here yeah, and that's the uh, Locust E um, Locust One E. Again, it's a, it's got the same movement. Armor looks about the same, except for this one has uh, different weapons on it. This one has no central torso weapon, which the other one does, but it has all its weapons on its arm, which is uh, basically one medium laser and a small laser in each arm. Again, everything's sort of the same. So you turn this over this side, there's nothing on there except for some lovely artwork, I do have to say. So then you've got the Vindicator. Now this is the variant I know, mostly because of Battletech, the computer game. Um, I've never used it because I've never had the model. So again, this one, you can see it's a lot slower. It's 25 tons heavier. Still the second lightest um, mech in this um, box. But... According to this, for this starter set, this person has a skill of 3 plus for shooting. So, yeah. So this one has a uh, small laser in the left arm, a P PPC in the right arm, um, LRM5 in the centre torso, and medium lasers. It also has jumps, so th this one can actually jump four, so, yeah. Then again, you've got a different variant, so you take out the PPC and replace it with a large laser. And you also take out the uh, five missiles in the chest, uh, LRMs in the left torso, and replace it with a 10. Again, I believe the armor is the same, and the uh, gunnery skill is still three. That's quite good, actually. So, not a mech I've really used, even though it is a 55 tonner. It is actually slightly faster than the uh, Vindicator, but for this set, it has got worse uh, gunnery skill. But this variant has uh, LRR M10 in its uh, right torso, and in its right arm, it has a PPC. So it doesn't have as much offensive capability as the other one, but it is faster. It could jump further. It could... So I'll do quite a few things, so yeah. Again, again, you turn over on one of the variants and you always get this nice little descriptions about them and stuff like that. And then again, there's another one. This one has slightly more capability, except for instead of having an LRM-10, it has an LRM-5, a large laser instead of a PPC, and has two medium lasers. You also then get something called the Thunderbolt. Now this is a 65 ton mech, which was, would have a lot more armor, as you can sort of see here. Uh, again, it's gun gunnery skills there, but it also has a LRM-10 in its uh, left torso. It has three laser, medium lasers in its left torso. Ah, so I didn't explain this a second ago. Guys, so that's your short. So that would be your short range, so that would be zero minuses to your gunnery skill. That would be your up to your medium range. So seven to uh, f 14 away would be plus two to your uh, gunnery skill. So that would go up. So you always have to roll like over your gunnery skill to be able to hit. So that's long. So these this is why these numbers are there, to tell you how far certain distances are and stuff like that. Does the PPC have a minimum range in this one? Doesn't look like it does, because I know in the normal game it does. Okay, so, yeah. And in its right arm it also has a large laser. And then, so again, oh no, it's the other one. Oh, that's got some nice art, that's different. 
That looks really cool. Actually, let's go back to the... What's the art for this one then? Oh, that does look good. I didn't see that before. Sorry, guys. So let's have a quick look at the... Oh, that's just the, the front cover art. But I do like that, though. It's really well done. But that is that looks beautiful. It really does. So does that, actually, I have to say. Um, to be honest, guys, that's new for me. And this is my third try at this video. <laughs> okay, so the next variant is the uh, Thunderbolt 5S. This, that one does not have jump jets, so it's taken away its jump jets. It replaces, it has more firepower though, if I'm being honest. It has LRM-15 in its right torso. It has a short range missiles or SRM-2 in the uh, right torso. In its left torso, it still has the three lasers as the other variant does. Its right arm is still a large laser, but on its left arm it has two machine guns now. So this one definitely could do a lot more damage, but it is, um, unfortunately, has lost its jump jets, which I have to say, sometimes jump jets have been really, really useful. Okay, so you also get two, two dice. You also get these pilot cards. Now, I'm not going to go through everything. I'm not 100% sure how they work, so I don't want to say... Yes, this is how things are, but with the pilot cards, this is your pilotry skill, that is your um, gunnery skills, but again, I'm not sure how pilot cards work, because they don't have like a value on them to say this is what it uh, should be and stuff like that. See, that, then that's there, then you've got like, so again, I'm not 100% sure how pilot cards work, so I don't want to say... Yes, this is how they work, but you get one for each each sort of mech. And these pilots have different um, skills. They also have these special abilities down here. And it says a cost of three, so I don't understand what that means yet. Until I um, understand that I haven't got around to using them. I've only played about four battles so far. Of, no, no, more than that. I think it's six now, because we're working our way up by um, B, uh, battle value. And we, we're playing classic rules. I want to try Alpha Rules though because um, sometimes when we're playing Classic it does take a long time. Okay, so I am going to be back in a second, just got to get a piece of paper. Okay, so, well, I'm going to start with the Griffin, even though I've actually really have already done this, this miniature before. Let me lift this up a little. Okay, so yeah, I do like like the look of this mech. I do. I have to say, I do like what they've done with the models. I know there's some people that prefer the 3D printed ones that you can get. I do agree with some of them on that, but at the same time, I do like what you can buy. And for myself, that's so much more easier. And I don't, you know, I don't have to spend a load of money on buying myself a printer in the first place. So I don't mind the look of this uh, sort of mech. Let me just zoom in a little, see if I can help a little, yeah. So yeah, I, I do have to say, I do like the look of it. Nice little details, certain areas. Uh, probably the most paint in these mechs will receive for me is this nice little green bit here and the red bit at the back to prove what's front, what's back. So now let's pick up the Vindicator. Yeah, and I do like this. And this is this is the only reason why I bought the set. If I'm being honest, is to get one of these guys because um, I already have the beginner set up sitting upstairs. Or well, the uh, older one which came with a Wolverine and a uh, Griffin. But yeah, I'm surprised this one's actually slower. But then thinking about it, in the BattleTech computer game, they're not amazing either with speed. But I do like having the PPC and the missiles. So. Uh, Maybe I'll get to like it in the uh, game as well, but I do. I just really wanted to have one because it was one of those first sort of mechs I got used to playing with. Even though I mostly use light mechs in my computer in the, um, my battles. So then you've got the uh, quick rules. Let's come out again. It's got that lovely sort of front front art. So let's just quickly open up, and then it sort of like tells you like quick start rules about the initiatives, sort of like what to sort of do. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Rules about woods, att 
attacking, weapon ranges, you know, weapon attacks. I'm not sure if it does melee attacks. It talks about... No, I don't think it does in this one. Um, then you get some rules here for, like, the different modifications. You know, for distance moving, for the clusters of the weapons. Because the biggest one in this, this set is a 15, so they're not doing the 20. So the lower you roll, the less, the less note of the number. The higher you roll, basically, better. Also some basic rules explaining on like what would be seen and what would be harder to hit, which angles and so on. Um, damage reductions. So in classic rules you have armour and structure. This one only has armour. So and I like how it's showing like how it's been hit and damaged by certain things. Which would be probably the PPC. Then you've got some scenarios at the back to play. I think the, the first scenario is literally just, uh, let's have a look here, da -da 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 -da. the training scenario relates of one of the many Greenhorns simulation programs. Okay, so the defender selects the Griffin and the attacker has the Vindicator. Oh, um, and then it talks about the pilot car, which I should read this just to understand maybe how that works. And playing with multiple mechs as well. So in this set, they do actually have these sort of cardboard stand-in bits. These are for, like for terrain, but if you wanted to use, say, the different mechs or the different variant, because I remember the cards, those things had different colours to represent these sort of bits here. You turn them over, that's the back of them. And then there's some nice little hills and... No, not even hills, just open terrain over there. That's, that's forest. Not even sure what that that would represent these bits. So yeah, then you get this. This probably was at the beginning when I, because I said this is the third time I've tried to do this video. So these are the people that make the metal um, mech warrior bits. Um, not sure. Maybe I should check them out. The uh, yeah, Iron Winds metals. Maybe they've got some um, nice sort of stuff there. There's the, uh, there. then you also, oh, don't want that going flying, sorry, that's me hitting my camera, guys, making sure something didn't fall on the floor. I'm trying to be careful here, not to damage anything. Then you get a nice little, um, insert guide to the inner sphere. So, again, it's not really cool. Now I need to move some of this for a second, so I can, nope, that was silly of me, because I need to get to what I need underneath. So let's get that out. Trying to not damage anything here. Yeah. Thank you. Let's get these out of the way for a second. So I can open up this and show you guys what this is about. I can edit this. Okay, so you get this single map. It's not a very big map. Me and my friends, when we play, we normally use a couple of maps. So as you can see, it's very open. I do I do hate this, and I hope I, I fold it back up properly afterwards, otherwise that could be a problem. But yeah, so you've got this side. So you can see it's got some trees. Again, those cardboard pieces were to represent light woods, heavy woods. And I think I have played on this similar map before. Quite open. Uh, there's no hills in this one. Nope, nope, no hills. So then we turn over to the other side. The desert one. Oh, this actually has um, forest, but no hills. Okay, so again, you've got some little uh, desert map with some foresty bits around here. You can see there's some light with some heavy. It's more heavy on this one than I think on the other one. Let's have a quick flip over again. No, no, it's about the same. It's actually more heavy, I think, on this one, which is kind of cool. Um, again, if you're just starting out a, a decent map, I've got uh, a couple of map sets now as well. I've used the desert one with the airport, which I, I, I really enjoyed that game. My friend, I lost that one actually. I've, I've won most of the games I've had from my friend, but I lost that one very, very convincingly. He beat me hands down. I have to admit, the game I had before with him before, I won with a bit of luck because of um, I managed to cause his Clint. To have a critical critical hit against an ammo 
ammo bit and that just blew it up so that was kind of interesting at the time anyway guys that's the unboxing of the starter set uh, I have to say I'm looking forward to at some point use the Vindicator um, just because it's something I haven't got around to using in the game yet for a start and but I want to start using some clan mechs because I haven't used them and I own all the sets they've released so far so I do want to start using them. I was hoping to have a game this week but unfortunately my friend was um, uh, well, basically real life kind of gets in the way and being this close to Christmas he has to, you know, other days he has to work so hopefully in the new year I'll get a game in. Anyway gents, I've been rabbiting too long. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you'd like to hit the notifications, again, please do. I don't do as many videos as I once did. That's generally because life gets in the way. But again, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys are. It's uh, good to get a video done. Unfortunately, it's only going to be one tonight. I was hoping to do a couple, but time is against me now, unfortunately, and other things. But yes, hopefully I can get another couple done during this week. But yes, that's the this one done. Anyway, guys, see you later. I hope you're all well. And again, just click that like button if you like it. Tell me in the comments uh, if you play Battletech, what uh, you prefer playing between Alpha Strike and Classic Rules. And yes, anyway, guys, see you later. Bye.